Hi everyone, this is Jessica from the Northwest Portland Area Indian Health Board. We've been getting a lot of questions lately about how much longer will the coronavirus or COVID-19 outbreak last? It's a really good question. As we, our families and communities and the world continues to struggle with the reality of the coronavirus pandemic, daily life has significantly changed for most of us. Entire communities, cities, and countries have been locked down. Social distancing has been enforced and wearing masks is the new normal. Considering four months ago, no one even knew that the coronavirus existed. Now the virus has spread to almost every country on the planet, infecting at least 8.8 .8 million people who we know about and many more who we do not know about. And COVID-19 has caused at least 464,000 deaths. It has crashed economies and challenged our public health systems. It's filled our hospitals, emptied our schools, and canceled powwows, canoe journeys, and other cultural events. It has separated people from their workplaces and their friends. It has really disrupted life on a scale that most of us have never witnessed. But as more communities and cities lift stay-at-home orders and reopen their businesses, Everyone's wondering the same thing right now. Is the worst over? And if not, when will the coronavirus pandemic end? The short, uncomplicated answer is that no one knows for sure. It totally depends on the coronavirus outbreak itself and how we react to it. Although the coronavirus isn't the same as influenza virus, it is transmitted in a very similar way. And when you look at the most recent pandemics of influenza, they have lasted for about two years. Unless we were able to deliver an effective vaccine to about 60% of the population, then I think we can be considering something in the same realm of about two years. But that answer of two years is unsettling. We are all missing seeing our friends, playing or watching sports and attending important events. But although some communities have seen infections leveling off and decreases in hospitalizations, many have seen spikes in new infections. In the last two weeks, many states and tribes have seen increases in new infections. Although some of this may be due to increases in testing, that doesn't remove the fact that these tests are positive for COVID-19 and these people can transmit it to others. We will probably continue to see different waves of the virus with different sizes in the waves until we have a vaccination. So maybe a better way to think about it is what can we do to stop the virus from spreading most efficiently? Although we may learn of new things we can do as time goes by, as we learn more about the virus, for right now, we can continue to practice physical distancing we can wear our masks when we're out in public. We can call, text, or email our families and relations to stay connected. That way, we know that we're doing everything we can to make sure that we are protecting each other and ourselves.